Friday, everybody. We made it to the end of the week. Um, today is day five of your kitchen cleanup challenge, and it is to clean out the pantry and the spice cabinet because a lot of times we forget that there's food in there. It's way in the back. We, you know, don't see it. Out of sight, out of mind. And when food goes bad, sometimes it can make us sick. So, um, what you want to do is make sure everything expired, especially food, expired food, um, is thrown away because it can grow mold and bacteria, and that's where you end up with, like, like food poisoning, okay? And make sure your foods are stored properly. We already talked about this earlier in the week. Hey, Melissa. Um, we talked about this earlier in the week about storing your food in proper containers. So if you keep it airtight, then um, insects won't get in there, like flour. A lot of people, you get bugs in your flour. And um, you won't have to throw away your food, waste money, you know, like throwing money down in the garbage itself, okay? Uh, spices. I use a lot of spices because I, hey Tina, I uh, cook from scratch pretty much everything. So I use a lot of spices. I tried growing my own. I'm still trying that. But I do buy, I try and buy fresh um, and I dry them. But those can also go bad if you don't use them. Because think about if you buy Christmas spices, like the, the stuff for like a um, pumpkin spice. Yeah, I think I bought some last year and haven't used it since. So I'm going to have to throw those away and buy new ones because it's been a year. And once it's open, air gets to it, and that's when, um, you know, the airborne illness and things get in. Bacteria, bugs, okay? Um, pretty much whenever we think we have the flu, uh, it's food poisoning. And that usually starts in our own kitchen, just from not being clean and not throwing away food when we should, keeping it too long in the refrigerator, okay? So by keeping your food in airtight containers in your pantry and even your spices um, that will prolong their life but make sure you know when the expiration date is even if you take it out of its original container and put it in a plastic one or a glass jar yeah I don't like plastic but some people still have plastic in their pantry um, but I'll do that with my dried beans I'll store them all. I get the big, huge gallon mason jar, and I'll store them in there. And if I'm not sure, there's a bunch of different white beans. I'll cut out the, the name, and I'll just stick it in the jar so I know which, you know, which bean that is. You can do the same thing with the expiration. You can write it with a marker on top on the lid, on the glass. Just cut out that part of the box and put it in there. Um, but it's very important to know when uh, things expire, okay, because you don't want to get sick. Um, even, not just a pantry, but your refrigerator as well. Like most people don't realize that you shouldn't store meat that you've cooked for more than three or four days because that's when bacteria starts to grow on it. You can't see it. It doesn't smell bad, but it's there. So it really shouldn't be more than three or four days. I'm guilty of that too. I'll be like, wow, I didn't, when was this put in there? I'm like, was it last week? So um, I'm trying to write dates on things, but I don't always remember. Um, but yeah, so all week we've talked about different ways to detox your kitchen. The biggest thing was the pots and pans because when you cook, that's just going right into your food and the air and you're breathing it. Um, cleaning materials. Use environmentally friendly cleaning materials because it's better for you and if you have pets, it's better for them too because, you know, they lick and try and eat everything. Um, store your foods in toxic free containers. Okay, glass, the metal bento boxes, okay. Your water, we talked yesterday about your water filter and bottled water. Mm. Um, I should have a whole environmentally thing about bottled water. And then cleaning out old food, okay. This is, um, it's very important. It's good to clean out your pantry probably more than once a year, but um, even if it's every six months, just go through it, um, organize it, get rid of stuff. You're like, oh, I forgot I bought this, and just toss it. So um, I'm going to be putting a link to this in the comments um, as soon as I get off of here. 
and um, so you'll get to see all of the information I talked about more in detail and I hope this was helpful please let me know if there's anything from this week that you um, learned that was new to you or that you're starting to do are you like getting rid of your plastic containers and getting all glass or metal or things like that so I thank you all for watching and participating have a good uh, weekend, and I will see you next week.